Hey guys, Captain Shane here. Uh, I'm gonna start doing some videos here on um, on fly tying. And uh, the first video I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna start off with a uh, EP fly. Uh, very effective fly, very easy to tie. Um, and I do have several people who asked me to, to do a little video on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, what I'm using here is I'm gonna use a Mustad C68 SMP-DT size two. It is a tarpon hook. Um, this is going to be a little bit smaller of a fly. Um, I am going to use this for some uh, juvenile tarpon. So let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap on the shank of the hook back to almost at the point of the hook. I am going to take some of this uh, this flash here. This is EP flash. Um, great flash. I love this stuff. I'm just going to take a little bit of it. We don't want it too crazy. So I'm going to take about that much. I'm going to do make equal lengths on it. And I am going to cut it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pull it so they're all not even. Just to, you know, so it just has a little unnatural look to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this on the shank of the hook here. I'm not just going to, I'm not just going to cover the shank of the hook and fold it back. I'm going to kind of roll it around the whole shank of the hook here. So the whole thing's covered top and bottom. Then I'm just going to make a couple of loose wraps on top of it. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this back. I'm not just going to grab it all and fold it back. We still want this around the hook. You can kind of give it a little flick. The little eye of the hook, a little flick like that. And it kind of puts it all over. So we're going to do it like, like that. It's kind of like uh, if any of y'all spin deer here. It's kind of, you know. Like spinning deer here and pull, pulling it back. So just wrap right over the top of it and uh, just advance your thread a little bit forward. Just leave it just like that. So now the first section that I cut here, I measure these out. These are all these are all in sections here. It makes it a lot easier. But what I typically like to do, I know where I'm going to wrap. I know where my uh, uh, where my thread. I'm going to start my thread. So I usually take it from there and just right back I measure it to how I want it so that's about how far how, how, um, how long our first section is going to be so if you see if I fold it over it's going to be the same um, so what I do now is I'm just going to take a little bit don't like to take too much I like to be able to see through this fly when I'm done with it so how I like to start is I flip this over um, I start on the bottom I don't start on the top and what I do is I take this and I lay this thread or this uh, fiber right along the shank of the hook here. Just right even with the shank of the hook on the side of it. Make a couple wraps, one, two, three. And you see that that's kind of already over. So what I do is I take this and I just fold it over to the, so it lays down the shank of the hook like that. And I just make a couple wraps around it then advance it forward. Turn your vise back over. We're gonna use the same, the, the long one, the same one on the top. About the same. Just put it right on top. Wrap your thread around it. Now, the thing here is when you take this, don't just hold it back and, and wrap on top of it. What you want to do is when you wrap this, kind of squish it down with your finger just a little bit. Just kind of take that and just squish it around there and just hold it and make a couple wraps around to bench your thread forward. Flip it over. Now you go to your second section here. Take a little bit of it. Remember, if you roll this up, just want you know you don't want it. You don't want a lot. So the same thing. Lay that on the shank of the hook right there along the side of it. Wrap it in. Take it, fold it over. Same thing. Tie it down. That's it. You can do the same thing on the top. Remember, kind of flatten that out around the side of the hook, or around the shank of the hook. Tie it in. Flip it over one more time. Now you can see. See how there's that little, little opening right there where there's no... Now that's why I tie them on the side of the shank of the hook. It'll fill that in.
flip it over. Same thing on the top. Now this is a you know this is a great fly here. Um, this here this color that I'm tying this happens to be one of my choice patterns for a um, for small tarpon um, here in here in South Florida. I mean they love this. That's about all you want on the on the on, the, on your wrap on the uh, on the end. I use a whip finisher. Um, I try and try with my fingers, but they just don't work like that. So I just whip finish it, give it a couple whip finishes. That's it. Tighten it down, snug it up. Go ahead and cut that. Now put a little head cement on there. Um, I'm gonna use this um, loon. Uh, it's a water-based head cement. I like this stuff. It's, it's pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit on here. Let's cover it. That's it. I like to take my fingers and get it on there. Okay. Now, this fly is actually, you could take this fly the way it is, and you could throw this fly, and it's going to catch fish. The way that this is this I mean this this fly will definitely catch fish but we're just gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna take this fly here and we're gonna brush it out I use a this brush right here it's a great great little brush so we're gonna go ahead and, and brush this thing out now I'm gonna give this a little slimline profile. See that flash in there? That flash looks really good. And all it is just one little thing of flash and there's no flash in this fiber. That's just that little flash that I put in in the front or in the back when I first started. Okay, now you need a good pair of scissors here. Um, good pair of scissors is key to, um, to cutting this. So now what I'm going to do is uh, so I take that fold it out with my fingers. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to trim this. The biggest thing that I see that um, people are afraid of when they when they do these flies is they're afraid of trimming these. Um, don't be afraid to trim it because you always if you screw it up, man, you can always uh, you can always fix it. You know, can't put it back on, but. I mean, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a little mullet, a little finger mullet type profile on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim this a little bit down the back. Now one of the, uh, the other things that I see is this, a lot of people here, they, they leave all this right here. They don't, they don't take that off. Um, to me, you, you got to get that off. I, uh. I I like making my flies pretty. I uh, it was a commercial tire. I I used to own a fly shop and um, I tied you know thirty forty flies a day. And when you sell them in your shop, they got to be pretty look pretty for people to buy them. So that's just stuck with me. Um, so now you can see it's taking that. That mullet shape, a little finger mullet shape. I don't trim this all the way up. I do my, my initial trim on it, and then um, after I put my eyes on, I uh, I finish the trimming because this does take a different shape once you get eyes on here. So you could see it's got that little streamlined mullet pattern or that that uh, mullet profile. So I'm going to take some eyes. These are um, uh, these are living eyes um, by, um, I can't remember who made makes them, but they're a good eye. Um, so what I do is this glue, uh, this is, uh, this is my favorite glue for eyes, this Loctite, this gel. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to, 
dab some of this on here. No bigger than these eyes. But what I like, I use these tips on here because these tips, you can get into the wraps with them. So just kind of push down on that. Let's go and get your eye, your first eye. Stick it on. And uh, when you make these, uh, when you put the, when you stick these eyes on, um, you'll still be able to move them when uh, um, when they're wet. So don't get them too too far apart. But if they're not right on, you can you can actually move them around. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't squeeze them, squeeze them. I just kind of gently push on them. And then, then I'll squeeze them down. I don't like them to flatten that, that profile with, with getting in there with that tip and sticking it down into the, uh, um, to the thread. Really, uh, so now I just go back and do my little, my little trim up that I have. Here's a little tip for you. You could take your scissors and rest them, rest it right here on the eye of that hook, and you could trim it. It'll give you a uh, nice rounded head on there. That's just a uh, that's a little tip for you. Don't be afraid to turn it over and go this way. And if you, you see some of these, if you see on the sides of these, there's some of these little stray hairs that are sticking out on the side. Go ahead and just get those off. That's not going to hurt anything to take those off. See any little stray hairs? But that's it. I mean, that fly is ready to go catch some fish. It's got a nice pattern to it. A nice profile to it. Um, looks good in the water. And if you, if you look, you can see through it. I like it that sparse where you could see through it. But uh yeah, that's it. My EP uh my EP fly. Um subscribe to my uh my channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos. Um I'm gonna touch a lot on this with this new brush, this EP brush that's come out. Um that's that's pretty game changing. But you but you can't beat this uh this fly right here. Um thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Take care.